let's go through the Nat 5s that I think you could be potentially looking for and selecting. That is not like, you know, obviously it depends on what you've got. I'll give two tiers for each Nat 5. Top tier in terms of if you don't have it, this is a great unit no matter what. And then the, the next tier down will be if you get this, it's still good. But if you get one out of the top tier, probably take one of those first. But if you get none of the top tier ones across any of the elements, then this one here is still a pretty good one to take. All right, so we'll, we'll split it up that way. All right, let's go through. Let's go through. We'll start with the uh, fire ones here. So top tier, top tier, we're looking for Juno, Carnal, and Joe Gun. I think would be the top three for the fire units. But some of the other ones that are like pretty good if you like if you already have those three or you don't get any of the top tiers like i said the next ones that would be pretty good to still take would be a, a rika um this is purely R rta based as well a uh, sekmet's pretty good um look where is he douglas douglas is douglas is a great really strong fifth niche pick in higher ranks but really strong pick overall in the lower ranks, like sort of C3 and below. He's really, really strong. But even in Guardian Plus, he's still pretty strong. Very last pick. Um, John. John's great. John's great. One of the best bombers in the game, plus the re reset on skill too. Um, any other fire ones? Maybe an Oki. Maybe an Oki. But he's kind of fallen off a lot. And maybe a Chiwu too. Ch Chiwu as a, as a super niche pick is still pretty good. At the end of the day, he's a speed lead, stripper, attack bar, pushback, you know? So he's not he's not too bad. Not too bad. As a, as a, as a wouldn't be super disappointed if you pull a Chiwu. He's great to have in your box. And that's probably it for the fire units, I'd say. Alrighty, the water ones. The water ones. The top tier. Top tier, we've got Nana for sure. Uh, more for sure, definitely. Abelio. Voices, mm. voices like yeah, maybe voices, voices like kind of in between. There's a fair few water ones that are in between here. But let's, uh, let, let's just do those. Look, those three. Nana, Moor, and uh, and Abelio, right? They're, they're the first three. They're the top tier for the water ones that you'll be looking for. The next ones that'll be okay. Um, Annabelle's actually really good. Really good. Shiho's pretty strong right now as well. He's a great unit. And he's actually like really fun unit as well. So Shiho's pretty good. Um... Mo Long, very decent. Very decent still. HP lead, like he's just good to have. Josie's pretty strong right now too. Josie's pretty good. Um, I like Barbara, but a lot of people probably will say she's down bad, which which she kind of is, but I like Barbara. She's a fun unit and great into like Antares and Juno and things like that. So I'll just give her a little mention, but she's probably not not really what you're looking for. Um, hey gang, hey gang's kind of too niche and fallen off a little bit. I wouldn't, wouldn't. He's he's okay, but not not. We're gonna gonna do the top two tier, so he'll probably get excluded. Miles actually isn't too bad either. Miles isn't too bad, so he'll he'll get it to squeeze into the top tier there. Um, and Samuth, right? So Samuth, Samuth and Vanessa, just in terms of the RTA picks here. Just sometimes just having a 33 lead is important. So like if you don't have a 33 lead and you don't get anything better than and they happen to be in there, then they're not too bad just to pick up as well. But that's probably maybe maybe you could mention Praha. Tail's getting some rise, but I won't I won't include him. I think I think that's it for the water ones. O outside of uh, RTA ones though. Um, like Bolvik, you can use in RTA. He's a pretty good niche pick into when they're picking a lot of immunity and like Riley Wooster, that sort of stuff. Riley Wooster Antares, he's really strong into those sort of teams. But he's really good for like Toa Hell. So he's got really good like 
you know, if, if you want to do some auto tower hell to make sure you're getting your Devilmon, LD scroll, and pro probably your uh, legendary, Bulbex like actually not bad to have as well. Because you got to think over the course of if you get him, that means you're getting all that extra stuff every month. You'll it's like he'll he'll he's really good value just for that alone. So if you're having some trouble with Toa Hell, Bulwark will get a little like outside of RTA honorable mention. Alrighty, and then the wind ones, the wind ones top tier. We're looking at Ciara, Ciara. Charlotte, I think Charlotte's the best CC unit in the game right now, outside of Light Monkey. So Charlotte, Leo's like insane, the passive on Leo, and just just Leo's insane to have in your box. Um, top tier, top tier. Honestly, Diana's Diana's great. Diana's great. Like in in a fourth fifth slot, she's so strong. And in lower ranks especially, she's like incredibly strong. But even up in Guardian, she's still really, really solid. Uh, Chung Pung, definitely in there. Definitely. Cigar's rising a lot in popularity. He, he's in the border between the top tier and the next bottom tier down. But like, whatever, he's on the list. Oliver, Oliver's in the in the top, right, obviously, right now. He's, he's the best unit in the game right now. Um, he is almost certainly going to be getting a nerf, though. But even once they nerf him, I don't think they're going to nerf him into the ground. Their nerfs lately have been more like little slap on the wrist. So I think he's just going to get that and still be probably the best 33 speed lead in the game after the nerf. Probably. That's obviously who knows, but that's my that's what I think they're going to be doing with him. Um, so he'd be still really, really good to pick up. Even knowing he's going to be getting a nerf coming, I'd say. Um... That's probably the top tier ones. The next one's down that we'll get like a, you know, not too bad. Savannah is pretty strong still. Um, she's, she's become more niche now in terms of when you've got to pick her basically fifth. Uh, she's too easy to counter, but she's really strong when you can get to use her. Uh, Gany, Gany and Hathor is still really strong. Um, Triton's not bad to have in your box, especially if you're a first turn player. He's the highest base speed uh, AOE stripper, plus like a really strong pushback too. So he's he's I like Triton. A lot of people don't like him, but I think he's still really strong, and he's he's a good weapon to have in your box. So he'll get on the list too. Um, Zing Zay is on the list. He's not bad for like those bruiser teams. HP lead, just he's just annoying unit. So he's on the list, and. Definitely Jemai's on the list. Jemai's great. Jemai's great. And I think Ethan's on the list too. She, she's one that perhaps people might not agree with being on the list. Um, but her kit's pretty pretty good across the board. And it's like, you know, depend. you can build... The thing with Ethan is, is you can build her three different ways more. You know, you can build her super fast on Swift. You can build her on Violent. You can build her on Despair. And she works on all those builds. So if you have her, you'll always be able to find a rune set for her and just have her in there as a as an extra uh, wind threat if you need one. So she's not too bad. Worth worth mentioning. Other than that, I think I think that's about it. I think they're the ones that you're really going to be looking for out of the out of this event. So hopefully hopefully you get you know a few of those that you can pick from. Uh, hopefully you get some of the top tier ones if you don't have them already. Thanks boys. I'll see you in the next one.